Uh, so in today's video, we're going to be going over really quickly how to make sort of a pocket style design. I did have somebody asking a question about how you would go ahead and do that, and it is really simple to do. Sticking with the creepy theme of Halloween, I've gone ahead and just selected a spider for this one. And so I'll show you how, uh, how to go ahead and do this. So if this is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So as always, we're gonna go ahead and start with our blank backdrop. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it white today and I'll show you why. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do a really easy corner pocket design because somebody in a prior video had asked me about how to do that and it's just real simple. So an easy way would be to come up to where it says file up on the top left hand corner. You click that and you can click show rulers and guides. If you click on that, you're going to get some rulers and guides up at the top and the side of the page. What you can do is click on the left hand side of the page where you see this guide and I can go ahead and pull a line straight over across the page. And I can pull it until it's at the center of the page. That is when it's going to change color from purple to pink. And now I know I'm at the side of the page. So I'm there and then I want to make my design. Usually it's gonna be on the left hand chest. So remember, as I'm looking at this, the shirt would be facing me. So the left hand chest would be right here, which is the right hand corner of your page. So this is where you're gonna put your design is gonna be kind of right here at the top right hand corner of your page. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with kind of a, a sort of creepy crawly design for Halloween. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a spider on here and I wanna make it look kind of realistic like there's a spider walking on this person's shoulder. And so I'm gonna go ahead and come up to elements and really easy, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for spider. And for this one, I actually wanna go with photos cause I want it to be as realistic as possible. Now there's a lot of different cool spiders I can go with and so you can pick anything that you like. So some of these are really cool. You can always remove the background if you find one that has a background or if you find one with no background that you like, you can always select that too. This one looks kind of cool, all right? So I kind of like that one, sort of the tarantula look. And that's a pretty big spider right there. And so again, I could be scrolling for a while, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one because it's real easy. He looks like he's kind of crawling. And so I've got this realistic looking spider. I can go ahead and shrink him down and he would be placed, if you could imagine, sort of that top area there. Now he's kind of big, so if this is midline of the chest, you might want your design to be a, maybe a little bit smaller. If you were really going for that pocket look, it would be something like that. I can make him as big as I want though, because I'm just sort of going for more of that kind of creepy look. I'm gonna go ahead and put him there. Now I can actually see, this guy actually looks like he's already got a little bit of a shadow on him, but I was gonna add sort of a more pronounced shadow underneath him. No, well, maybe not, maybe I'm just seeing things. Really light shadow? No, maybe not. Well, we are gonna add a shadow. So I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna kind of edit image. And now I've shown you a lot how to use the shadow feature because we have used the glow a lot to get an outline, but there are a lot of other shadow features. So if you haven't played with them, now is a good time. We're gonna do a drop shadow. And that is kind of what you would want if you wanted to look like that spider sort of like just crawling right off you. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my drop shadow here. And like everything else, I can click these three lines and open up the controls. And here's where I can play with it a little more. I could always change the color of the shadow if I wanted to. I can make it as blurry or as sharp as I want. I might wanna make it a little bit more blurry. I can change the transparency here so I can make it a lot darker. Or I can make it a lot lighter. So I want it to be dark enough to be seen, but I don't want it so dark that it just blends into the spider and I can't tell that it's a shadow. Again, you can play with the angle. So depending on where I want it to look like the light is coming from, I can do that. I do want it to look pretty straight. So I'm gonna keep it right there. And then again, offset, I can, you know, get a big offset here. He looks like he's floating over the page. I don't want him to look like he's floating over the page, but crawling, I want him maybe Real easy, something like that. I can hit apply and that's how you would go ahead and put a shadow. And so that's a really cool feature too, if you haven't used it. And so now if I was to go ahead and just zoom out of my page, 
All I've got is this spider right here and it's in the corner. I can drag this line off. And that is quite literally all there is to making a pocket style design. And actually Amazon has made it pretty easy now, um, along with some of the other um, platforms where they allow you to sort of uh, resize and alter your design within the platform. Um, but if you do have to have it exact before you put it up, that is how you would do it, pretty simple. And again, this could work on different colors too. It might not pop as well on a black shirt, which is why I went ahead and chose white, but I could put it on a black shirt. He kind of blends in a little bit. Um, if I went with a gray shirt, he would pop out pretty well. And then of course, any other shirt I might want to do, orange for Halloween, he's going to pop out. So you can put it on any colored shirt, as long as you're getting you know enough contrast that it doesn't just look like it's blending in. Um, if you did want to do it on black, you might choose a lighter spider. I can always again edit the image and I can make this spider a little brighter too so I can go with brightness and I can brighten up that spider a little bit more. I can even add a little bit more saturation if I want to for that spider so that it's a little bit more colorful. And so something like that I could do if I wanted him to pop just a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, so you can see it. It's, it's blended in pretty well, but no, it just depends what kind of color you're designing for. I can lighten him way up if I want, you know, him to be seen, but then I kind of lose that realism. So I am going with that realism. I can keep it right about there. I can add some contrast in if I want to. And again, add some saturation if I want to, but that looks pretty good right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and title this uh, Pocket Spider. Pocket pocket spider and that's all there is to it. I will just go ahead and download this right now, transparent to background, click download and that is all there is to it. Another really quick video, um, but again, you can use this technique to do all sorts of different pocket designs. That is another uh, kind of style trend that I've noticed is popular too. So just a lot of pocket style designs, keeping it really simple, okay? So I hope you found this useful and uh, we'll do it again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the future videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.